my influence over the state is staggering. And maybe that is the fear of the governor. Hey, my people, we vele kwa o do to e. Me kuna kon ye reply o we u che secondus kon give governor. We can when governor, we can talk to her, my people. This u che secondus in the middle of the crisis where they inside PDP. My people, the reply when you can give governor, we can he can give governor, we can be wicked body like he do do. Me kuna sit down, me kuna just watch this video, my people. I bet me kuna not forget say this on a radio show and online television. Me kuna follow us wakar for inside our Facebook and our Instagram. Not forget say we see the inside. TikTok. I beg if you don't watch this video finish, make you drop your comment for inside our comment section and don't forget to like and share. In the last 72 hours, Governor hears some weak says nobody should listen to you because you are an expelled member of the People's Democratic Party and that you cannot interface on behalf of the party and they refer to you as one Uche Secondos. Are you uh, Prince Uche Secondos or one Uche Secondos, who is an expert member and a meddlesome interloper, as uh, Governor Wike put it. The utterances of um, uh, Governor Wike is uh, unbecoming of a man who the people voted for. And he knows some of our role in making him governor. Uh, I will not join these issues, but I am a bona fide member. Matters are in court undecided yet. Uh, he knows too well that our constitution is very clear that no any level of our party, especially at the world and at the local government at the state level, can discipline a national officer. But whatever it may be, they've gone to court, obtained injunction, judgment, and which we were in the court. So outside that, I'm a free citizen of Nigeria. I'm also a very um, a serious minded fellow, uh, very humble. And uh, I believe that um, uh, the Rivers people knows my what. I've been here for nine years as the chairman of the party in the state before I rose to the national level. And therefore, my influence over the state is staggering. And maybe that is the fear of the governor because I have a very good background. I'm qualified to be whatever I want to be in this nation. So I don't just want, just want to join issues with the abuse or the insult of the governor. So I would like to end it at that point. Okay, I get your point about not joining issues with him, but uh, he accused you pointedly yesterday of corruption. He said, look, all the projects that were assigned to you either under Dr. Peter Odili or other, uh, you know, uh, subsequent administrations, you know, that you abandoned them. And everything meant for the Andoni uh, people with regard to road infrastructure, uh, you could not uh, deliver. Uh, that's something you should, I mean, you should respond to, even if you don't want to join issues with them. I'm not a contractor, I'm a politician. I was in the office for nine years. There was no query. There was no um, uh, any commission of inquiry or any court matter against me. Uh, I believe that this is normal, the governor's normal style of uh, uh, trying to uh, insult elders, as he has always done, and then uh, blackmail and um, lies. I, I believe that I will not be the only one he has done that to many people many national leaders. Uh, I believe that the governor, he should know where he is coming from. I was instrumental in making him a minister. I was instrumental in making him a governor. And he cannot come to accuse me of anything. And River State listened to me and voted for him. So I'm surprised his attitude. And I have not done him anything. And by the grace of God, I will not. Because if I bring myself lower or bring myself down, uh, the people who have respect for me will not um, no longer trust me. I, I want to tell you with all confidence that uh, all the allegations are false. Uh, they are just mere blackmail. And the more he abuse and insult me, the more he will diminish himself. The people are just listening and is making gist 
and then a jest of himself and um, a drama. And so I have no issue with him at all because up till today he cannot define where we had issue. For over one year, when he started all this with me, I have not um, uh, seen anybody. So he can't be referring to Dr. Dele, he can't be referring to any other government. I have no issue at all. I'm, look, I, if, if there are issues, he should, he should set up a commission inquiry. He should, he should go to EFCC. I, I'm not refunding any money to EFCC. He knows those who are refunding money. I don't mm. want to mention them who are refunding money. You should know better when they were there uh, in, the, in the ministry okay. at the federal level. Will it be right to say that you provoked Governor Wike when you issued a statement saying that Governor Wike is not in a position to determine who the people of River State will vote for. You know, after he had said that in January, he will tell the people of River State and the people of Nigeria from state to state who they should vote for as president of Nigeria. And you issued a statement that the governor has no such powers to determine who even the people of River State should vote for. A governor can campaign for whoever he wants to campaign for. And we are also campaigning for our president. My statement was very clear that no single person, including me, I didn't mention him. I said no single individual can impose a candidate for the state. This is democracy. You are free to make a choice. And we have made our choice. Our choice is uh, Atikwa Abubakar and uh, Dr. Ifanyi Okowa. And, and period. He can decide to vote for him, whoever he wants to vote for. I have never seen a man who is in government, you have the power, you have the resources, and you are agitating. <laughs> I thought that the normal norms would have been to sit and negotiate. And I believe that that is the right thing to do, rather than agitating. Well, you say you are confident that uh, you win in River State uh, for Atiku and Okoa. But the campaign office has been sealed off, and uh, Governor Wike is supporting other candidates. He's not supporting the presidential candidate of the uh, People's Democratic Party. And he's insisting that he will not leave the People's Democratic Party for people who left the party and came back. So why are you so confident? You don't even have a campaign office right now in Port Harcourt. Look, the campaign of Atiku and Abu Bakr is not only at the campaign office in Port Harcourt. You know, our strategies, how we want to get people to vote for Atiku and Ifan Yokoa. And I believe that um, I'm not here to release those strategies. But most importantly, Atiku Ifanyi Okowa is in the minds of Rivers people. Has a party given up on the G5 and the enlarged group, the integrity group, which is that uh, Dr. Yochi Ayu must step down as uh, chairman of the party before the election? But it looks like uh, the negotiations you talked about, those negotiations are not working. So as a party given up? Our presidential candidate had met with uh, the, uh, the group, the group of five governors, uh, five times. He has also met with uh, Winke several times. Uh, and um, meetings are um, on continuous basis. I, believe that um, uh, recently the director general of the campaign was in um, Benue. Uh, the chairman of the campaign council, uh, His Excellency Udom Emmanuel, was also in Benue. I, I think they are all part of the move uh, to reconcile these governors to the main body of the party. I, there is nothing that is impossible in politics that cannot be done. Even 24 hours is too long. So I still believe that no permanent enemy, no permanent friend, issues can be resolved and it's, they are ongoing. Uh, and at the end of the day, uh, the will of God will prevail. But I'm hopeful that it, it, it will be resolved. <laughs>